my name is Pablo Mevsawi Mani. Um, I teach African yoga. I got into African yoga where I started. My background is in the creative industries. I started off as a, a creative and artist and interested in dance and also interested in martial arts. In fact, I was doing a martial arts known as Kazimba which is the spirit of the lion. And while doing Kazimba, I found a lot of people was getting injuries and I really wanted to know how to heal, how to heal one's body. How, do one, how does one heal their body? Through movement. How does one able to uh, cleanse the whole system through movement? So I was very much interested in the African technology of how to do that. And this is what led me into yogic practice, and in particular, Smai Tawi. Smai means breath, and Tawi means the union of uh, two lands. So basically, it's the union of two lands, the upper and the lower natures. And this is how I began to get more involved and began to understand and do some study basically on the, the body, the anatomy, the physiology, but also study on the emotional bodies, the organs and uh, the consciousness. And this is what brought me into the whole form of yogic practice. So in terms of being martial, I turned to the healing sciences. The benefits of African yoga is flexibility, strength, bodily awareness, spatial awareness, focus, concentration, alignment. These are generally the benefits of African yoga. Oh, I forgot to mention, libido. Yeah. So African yoga actually develops the whole body system. Not only that, it actually cleanses the emotional body. The movements in African yoga, for instance, something like Hudu or Hanu, these movements, these fluid movements, allows flexibility without you even thinking about it, like you focusing too much on being flexible. You're also utilizing the breath, you're cleansing the lungs, and also you're cleansing the bodily organs, such as the liver, the kidneys, the pancreas, the heart. It increases one's youthfulness, it relieves stress, anxiety, it alleviates pain in certain areas, so it increases mobility, one's, one's ability to move, one's ability to walk, dance, because, you know, as we mature in life, our ability ceases. So what actually African yoga does, it actually increases that mobility, that mobility to do um, movements that we wouldn't normally do when we're like 70 or 80. African yoga is very fluid. The motion of it is very fluid. So what that actually does is, as well is that it, it develops a fluidity throughout the body. Another benefit of African yoga is peacefulness, calmness. It makes one very peaceful, one calm, and also one harmonious. African yoga is to raise one's level of consciousness. I appreciate a lot of your attention. Uh, thank you very much for viewing, watching, listening. You can get in touch with me with details at the bottom of the screen. Thank you.